chat with Glendora, a show for living right. A chat with Glendora makes your day so bright. Words of inspiration, jokes to make you smile. Come relax and chat with Glendora for a while. Before we start the holy agenda, we have a prayer. A prayer of what it is about, why it is being done, and how it should be done. And that we will keep our possession and our cool. And we'll do it politely. We have to send in three ads in the newspaper today. One for live-in companion, female, with full use of the kitchen, one for a room for rent, $100 a week, full use of the kitchen, and another one for somebody who will read to a blind person and help with lighthouse work and light cooking. We'll have to put those three ads in the paper. How much will that be? I would say it will be about $60. Oh, folks, I wish I could have healed that little kitten. Five weeks old, taken away from its mother too early by dumb human beings. And a, and a blockage in the abdomen that blocked the urethra and she couldn't urinate and she died of uremic, uremic poisoning. I wish I could have healed her. If I'd been Mary, Mary Baker Eddy, I could have healed her. If I had been as close to God as Mary Baker Eddy could get at times. We want to do that, don't we, more than anything else. We want to do healing. The Christian Science Sentinel for this week, Radio Watch, was about a person who can have an undue influence over you, can really manipulate you, and how you can break that and go to God and be safe from such an influence. You can get those telephone numbers, you know, you just dial them on your telephone number and up comes a Christian Science Sentinel radio watch. And you can get the uh, quarterly Bible lesson readings from the Old Testament, from the New Testament, and from Science and Health by Mary Baker Eddy. I call all those things my edification, my education. We read uh, the 10 pages of Mary Baker Eddy biography a day, so that's our education, our edification. Thank you, Sandy, for reading the uh, two articles from the advertiser the last two weeks. Thank you, Gloria, for explaining it to Sandy and assuaging Sandy. About what? Well, that a, Sandy seems to think that anybody can take anything they want out of your credit card and you can't do anything about it. But I think Gloria explained that to Sandy, that that isn't so. Today we hope the insurance company, no, the credit card company will come to their senses and do things accurately and change the finances from a debit card to a credit card where you're going to get the money to pay for it Glendora well we have the money even with that 
$1,700 spend down that we have to pay Medicaid every month. Today we hope the insurance company, no, the credit card company, will come to their senses and do things accurately and change the finances from a debit card to a credit card. Where are you going to get the money to pay for it, Glendor? Well, we have the money even with that $1,700 spend down that we have to pay Medicaid every month. Eddie has a band and he needs a place to practice and none of his friends or relatives will let them practice in their domain. So we have to find a place for Eddie to practice. I can think of one place. It'll cost money, but I'll gladly pay it. I'll pay it, Eddie. We can go to the social hall of the Roman Catholic Church, St. Mary's, here in Nassau Village. And we can hire that hall. And you go in there and practice all you want. I have to know from you, Eddie, what hours you uh, would like to practice. Would it be Saturday afternoon or Saturday morning or Sunday afternoon. But we'll take care of you, Eddie, and you'll be all set. You'll have electricity and you will have a, a commode. So we'll take care of everything, Eddie, because you're so nice and you do, you're so good natured and you add so much cheer to the world. Did you know that we counted up 90, 88, 89, 90 fruits and vegetables that this earth has given us to eat. 90. Folks, I learned something new. You want me to tell you? I learned that you do not blow your bubble gum while you're wearing your mask. Did I ever tell you what a teenager once said to me? She says, I'm going to keep talking until I find out what it is I want to say about this. Well, I know what I want to say about veganism. Go, live long and strong. Hi, folks. How are you today? God made man, right? God looked him all over. Then God said, I can do better than that. And that's when he made woman. Go vegan, folks. You cannot do better than that. Live long and strong. Well, folks, we have our lovely jolly friend here who always gets us into good spirits. This is our friend Sandy. And Sandy, you're going to read to us from the advertiser, right, which is our local yes. newspaper, yep. and you're going to read our articles that we wrote. This is an article from April 8th uh, about the Glendora Vegetarian Club. The American Vegan Society writes that more families are vegan because there are more innovations, a wider desire for it, and greater availability. More and more vegan foods look just like the foods people are used to eating. Many people are waking up to the fact that we want that we have to save the planet. So consumers want plant forward, climate healthy menus. Do you think so? Yes. S Sandy, you think so? Yes. Food service companies are now providing it. For more information, call call Freya at 856-694-2887. Who is Freya? Uh, is she head of the American Vegan Society? Yeah, she's a, she's the widow of the founder, uh, Jay Dinshaw. Mm -hmm. okay. And now we have some jokes. We do? Yes. What does a report card teach a parent? You do not have to lift weights to raise a dumbbell. <laughs> You're a parent. Did, they, did you learn that? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, my children are brilliant. Why was the baby shoe crying? His mother was a sneak and his daddy was a loafer. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, we had a fire in school today. Oh, that's dreadful. Well, we've been rehearsing for it all year. 
<laughs> now, Sandy, you can relate to that because you're a teacher, right? Yes, that's true. We do rehearse all year for those. <laughs> <laughs> a man in the White House saw a gold phone and was told he could talk to God on that phone. He talked to God for three minutes. He asked, how much do I owe you? Three hundred dollars. Three months later, he was transferred, transferred to Israel. He saw a gold phone there, and he talked to God for three minutes. He asked, how much do I owe you? Three dollars. What? It cost me three hundred dollars at the White House. Well, over here, it's a local call. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's a good <laughs> that's one, That's a isn't good it? one, yeah. What? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's a good one. Why did the mother call her son Haley's Comet? Why did the mother call her son Haley Comet? He came around once every 75 <laughs> years. <laughs> Okay, contact Glendora's Vegetarian Club at 518-931-0266 in Albany, New York. Those were good jokes, weren't they? Yeah, those were cute. Now, would you like the second article, Glendora? Yes, please. All right, this is from April 15th, The Advertiser. <laughs> Glendora Vegetarian Club. In August, Glendora will celebrate 50 years, a half century on public access TV. 13,000 shows on 75 stations from Boston to San Diego, and 3,700 shows on YouTube. It is the longest-running public access TV show in the world. It originates from Nassau Village, New York. Yeah. A it, chat with Glendora always has a happy ending. Everyone's glad when it's over. <laughs> <laughs> that's not my joke. That's yours. <laughs> Why wasn't the computer hungry? No, why wasn't the computer hungry? He just had a bite. What, what do you know? How do you know the cookie was sick? Uh, he, he, he looked crummy? He looked crummy. <laughs> <laughs> what city in New York has the most rabbits? Oh, this is good, folks. Think about that. Go ahead, 30 seconds. Think about it. All bunny. <laughs> <laughs> All bunny has the most rabbits. <laughs> What do you call a person who doesn't get angry? A nomad. <laughs> That's a good one, isn't that it? That is good. <laughs> you can tell that to your children, can't you? Yeah. First, second, and I'd third grade. I'd have to grade. explain what a nomad was, but yes. <laughs> Why couldn't Mozart find his teacher? He was hiding. <laughs> Contact Glendora's Vegetarian Club at 518-931-0266. In Albany, New York, 518-674-5757, extension 205, to reserve your dinners today. Okay, folks. Grace and peace unto you. You want to say anything to the folks, Sandy? Uh, no. Enjoy your vegan eating. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Sandy. Thank you. Bye. Father, is it a sin for me to play golf on Sunday? Son, I have seen you play golf, and it's a sin for you to play golf any day of the week. Breathe on us, breath of God, till we are wholly thine, until this earthly part of us glows with thy spirit. Divine. We read about the eye uh, in the Encyclopedia Britannica and about the conjunctiva and about the eyelid and how there were four sections and one had the eyelashes in it. It was very, very interesting. <laughs> it's amazing how great God, the universe, can create. How beautifully it can create. Life. The difference between life and no life, folks. Pat, uh, text. Uh, Marie and told her she had two letters here and that we would like to forward them to her new address. They might be important. Did you listen to uh, the Sentinel, the Weekly Sentinel?
Yes, it was a new one yesterday, Christian Science. Did you listen to the quarterly Bible study? Yes, one section. There are several empty boxes in the museum, and I think we should take the light things from the Happy House 3, light in weight, and take those boxes to the museum and unload their contents and put them into the empty boxes over at the museum. And that would thin out the para and the phrenalia here. What do you think? Make us a blessing. Make us a blessing. Make us a blessing. To someone today. Daddy, can I join the army? Of course not. You're only an infant. I could join the infantry. Daddy, I can do something that you can't do. What? Grow up. Daddy, can I join the army? Of course not. You're only an infant. I could join the infantry. Daddy, I can do something that you can't do. What? Grow up. May thee, God of peace himself, sanctify all of us completely through and through. Folks, I forgot to tell you what Sandy made. You know those tiny little potatoes? They come in a little plastic bag in the produce department. They're red skin and white skin mixed. Well, those are terrific. Oh, I love them. Well, someone else brought you the potatoes, Gondor. I can't take credit for those. No. And, um... And Sandy took them and put vegan... Was it Monterey Jack, honey? Yes, Monterey Jack vegan cheese. And that was in the toaster oven? I just melted the cheese on the little potatoes in the toaster oven. Yes. And then over in the cup, she put mushroom, cream of mushroom soup. And um, some of those little potatoes cut up. Thank you, Sandy. You're welcome, Glendora. We have to check the TV stations in Boston, Groton, Mount Vernon, Trenton, Chicago, Los Alamos, Highland Park, Illinois, Portland, Oregon, and San Diego to see if the program is being cable cast and see if the message is getting out. Then, Robert Jackson does an infallible job. He always gets it, and he gets it right, and all the people really appreciate him and respect him because he gets his programs in by computer on time, week in and week out. Where are his stations? All oh, the big ones, Manhattan, Brooklyn, Bronx, San Francisco, San Jose, Where is San Antonio? No, that is not yet. That is not a computer yet. It's still by uh, DVD. Um, Then there's Atlanta, Philadelphia, Trenton, 
that group of 10 or 15. And now we're down to the last of the DVDs are going to stop and they're going to go by Dropbox. The last but two or three. There's two or three that can't take anything but DVD. It would be Hartford and Robert Jackson when he feeds it out to standard definition. He needs DVD. Pat went to the uh, Pat Nichols went to the museum yesterday and she found a blanket on top of column 17 that had mouse feces on it. So we made sure that got out and got aired and when it's aired out enough we will wash it. And I asked her to take the contents of column 17, row 1, and put it into column 8, row 2. I don't know whether that got done or not. But little by little, uh, column by column, we were trying to undo the damage that the mice did uh, last fall and winter. We took a Goomba's calzone to our friend and said, from somebody who loves you and always will. And Pat Nichols had a lovely visit with him. Pat found mouse droppings in a kitchen drawer. Did I tell you that about four or five nights ago, I definitely, in bed, in the dark, around, you know, midnight or so, I definitely heard a mouse exploring. And this is the first time in years. And I waited for her to, she came over here somewhere, here, there, and then she turned, and then I took a spoon and played a tune on the uh, bed table. That did not end the noise, but soon thereafter it did end. You want to know why it ended? Because we keep all of the food in canisters. Or in jars. All food is covered up. And that that eliminates the problem of mice living in your house. I don't mind, you know, I like the mice and I feed them, but I feed them outdoors. Uh, it just doesn't mix for them to be in the house. And, they, and, and then you don't, you don't hurt them any. They're really so appealing. What else did we do? Eddie, you see all, you don't see all these cords? There must be 18 or 20 uh, electrical cords going from devices uh, into three or four very expensive power strips like uh, Phillips and others, but they're very, very well engineered and very well manufactured. And I think there's four or five of them power strips. Eddie did that. Uh, Eddie took out the summer chairs. How's that for spring? How's that for the middle of April? Took out seven lawn chairs and one uh, bed, one chaise lounge. Isn't that nice? Glenny will never be sitting in them, but her neighbors might enjoy them. And we put them under the great big twin tree, not far from the William Weeping Willow, Wisconsin tree. 
And pretty soon will it be this, I think it will be this week that the leaves will be able to see. And when they come, they come fast. In three days, maybe even two days, no leaves and then all over leaves. That does not apply to the magnolia because the blossoms come out before the leaves. Also the facithia. And also I think the weeping willow. No, the weeping cherry. And the That other great big cherry tree, what is it? The weeping willow, the weeping cherry and the uh, flower and crab. Yeah, it's a crab, flower and crab. We are continuing to read of miraculous healings by Mary Baker Eddy. All witnessed, all documented. Hmm. I wish... We could have healed that little kitten in Troy, five weeks old, and with the obstruction in her abdomen that kept her urethra from dispelling the urine, and she died of uremic poisoning, and we didn't help her. We didn't save her. We just buried her. I want to reflect God. I want to help others reflect God. I want to keep making the TV shows with a message. When all is said and done, the only thing that really matters is how did you help others? How did you treat others? We want a live-in companion who will help us and a live-in companion that we can help. This man is walking down the street, and in his arms is a darling Cocker Spaniel puppy. And he meets his friend, and he says to his friend, What do you think of this Cocker Spaniel puppy that I got from my wife? And his friend said, That's not a bad trade. Go vegan, folks. The Apostle Paul in Philippians 4, 6 said, I have learned to be content in no matter what state I find myself. And that includes the state of New York. You will be content when you go vegan and not until... I was at the Kinderhook Reformed Church and the minister announced from the pulpit, this afternoon we're going to start a men's study group. And I got up and I said, well, I'm coming. I've been studying men for 70 years and I still don't understand them. Go vegan, everybody.